welcome back to another episode of cooking with the jacobs i'm cooking another meal and while i need to do something i'm gonna show you guys how i make my devil eggs um and also how to boil up the perfect um egg without cracking it i guess i guess maybe it'll be like two videos in one because i'm boiling the eggs right now the purpose of this is first of all i'm just gonna put get your pot get your pot um do it about halfway full of water um and what i do is i actually over salt the, the water and when i say over salt that means just like put a lot of salt in it um i don't know how much salt that was probably like five tablespoons Okay, I mean, it can't hurt. At least put five tablespoons of water for half a cup. I mean, for, for this particular size cup, okay? Um, if you use a bigger one, then just shake the salt thing over there like four times. And then it's gonna work. Like hold it and then go one, two, three, four. <laughs> That's a trick. That's one of the ways my mama would tell me how to measure stuff. <laughs> All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven eggs. Um, what I'll do is I think it's 15 eggs for some reason over there. So let me see how many. Well, before I put the eggs in there, I have it on a high heat. Um, I'm going to wait for it to come to a boil. As soon as it comes to the boil, I'll be back, okay? Okay, boom. So, y'all, it is um, <clears throat> it's boiling, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my eggs and I'm just going to gently put them in there. Now I have, um, one, two, six, seven, eight. I did eight eggs. Um, just because, you know, I like things to be kind of even. So there's no rhyme or reason why. Um, and I'm just using my, uh, little thing in here too. That thing right there looked like it, uh, it burst. Why is all of those doing that? I might have should have put it in there already because I feel like when I bring it from this thing, it, uh, yeah, see, some of my yolk came out of those. Ugh. I feel like it, yeah, it's doing it because they're still cold and they're not room temperature. That's why I'm going to have to put two extra ones in there. Yeah, as soon as I put it in that thing, it it it, it, it bursts it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that other one is burnt for sure. I mean, broken for sure. It's broken for sure, this one. Yeah. My other one may be okay. Um... But that one right there for sure is messed up. So I'm going to add one more. But anyway, we're going to cook these for about 12 minutes, okay? So set your timer for 12 minutes and um, boil them on high for 12 minutes. And then um, I'll be back. Okay, so y'all, we back after the 12 minutes. All I did was uh, take my eggs and come over here and put them in a shock bath, which is just basically um, cold water. I have super cold water running on them. Some people you'll see add egg, I mean, add um, um, ice to their thing. You can do that if you want, but I found I don't have to do it. It still, you know, works the very much the same. Um, you just want to keep it going on here, keep it running for a while um, until every the whole thing uh is cold okay that's what i do i just keep letting it run until it the whole pot feels cold it still feels a little warm to the touch right here but i just let it keep you know doing its thing until um it does that now if you got a problem with letting your water run then yeah put it in the ice bath and that'll probably work um but for me i just do this it's okay it doesn't cost that much extra for my for my thing for me to let the water run a little bit all right so i'll be back with that um um on how to finish doing the egg but just let it run like that and let it sit in the cold water without doing anything to it okay okay so boom y'all i'm back um I ain't gonna lie, I left and went to get my daughter from work, and then I came back. So, this has just been kind of sitting in the cold water. But remember, I told you last that you just want the, you want to run the running water, the running cold water, until it gets, um, until it gets, um, 
cold and then you can cut it off and just let it sit in that cold water okay this was the one that i burst when i put it inside of there so but even with this one with if it didn't crack in half it would still would have been easy to just take it off okay just take the uh the eggshell off see how it just slides off um the trick they told me was the salt okay um, I'm not sure if it has to do with the salt more so or if it's completely getting uh, cool and that helps with it. But either way, I make sure that I do it. So you see how that comes off and it's a perfect egg every time. Okay, so hopefully that helps anybody that needs to, um, you know, know how to boil an egg. Because some people don't really know how to boil an egg. The other thing you also can do is like at the beginning when I started my egg... Um, you can start the water, like when you put the water in there, you can also put the egg in there at the same time, but don't start your 12 minute timer until, uh, till it starts boiling. Okay. Um, so I hope that helps you guys. But anyway, that's cooking with the Jacobs and that is how to make a perfectly boiled egg. I'll see you guys next time.